everyone was out today working on their yeah. yards, hanging out in parks, and I know you guys were at the coast. Yeah, yeah. dry too. You were out at the coast. Right. I was out in the on the Washington coast. I was razor clamming. Yeah, I saw and that. And it was cool. dry and it was beautiful. And you were out, where were you? Rockway Beach. Oh gosh. Yeah, in Tillamook, and it was perfect. The yeah. Last two days. Well, things are changing, unfortunately, perfect out timing. along the coast. It's not going to be a total wash up. We're starting to see sprinkles out there. Doesn't look like it's stopping anybody out at the beach currently. They just you put your hood up and you keep on going. That's the uh, theme here in the Northwest, but I do want to take you downtown Portland. We're still pretty dry. It's mild conditions currently 64 degrees downtown Portland, which is pretty warm compared to what we've been seeing this spring so far. I'll show you what's moving into the area. Now we do have this low pressure system that's slowly moving in to the British Columbia area, and that's bringing some showers into our area for this evening. It's moving in from the north. Chehalis, Washington area, seeing that rain. Still pretty dry from warm springs out to the eastern part of the state. Baker City, maybe a few sprinkles, but I want to zoom into where all the rain is moving into. Cannon Beach, Tillamook, Pacific City. It's slowly going to move over downtown Portland. We might see a few sprinkles already, but when this system moves over us, that's when we're really going to start to see the rain. So again, maybe a few sprinkles out towards Corbett, the higher elevations once you get into the mountains, but again, for for tonight, we really are going to be seeing those increased showers. So here's our rain and cloud forecast. So through tonight, again, the front starts to move through. By 7 o'clock, we're definitely seeing the rain along the coast. Portland metro area, probably around 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, we'll start to see the majority of the rain. Maybe some heavier rain out along the beaches with that yellow there. Continues tonight, heavy at times. We'll start to see those showers break up just a little bit. Still some sprinkles possible tomorrow morning once that front moves through. A little bit of moisture behind it will keep our Sunday a little bit wet for the morning, but then we'll dry out by the afternoon and evening hours. Some sun breaks, so that'll be nice. And then a few little showers for our Monday. But I do have some good news. Usually these columns are red and way up here with 100%. Look at this. We're looking at a much drier week ahead. Again, chances of rain for Monday, but we're looking at drier conditions for Tuesday, Wednesday. That also means some warmer temperatures. So why are we going to be seeing this? Well, the weather pattern is shifting. Here's a look at this. The jet stream is going to bump up. You can see that cooler moisture is up north. We're going to see this ridge of high pressure build in. Look at this. When we see it more of a mountain and just that big hump right there. We see warmer temperatures moving in, drier conditions, which just makes for some beautiful conditions here in the Northwest. We're talking upper 70s. Today, though, we did get to the mid 60s. Again, seasonal average temperature 63 degrees the high in Kelso. We even got to 70 in Corvallis. 66 degrees were the high in the Dalles. We're still pretty mild, still in the mid 60s in Portland. So, a beautiful evening to get outside, maybe eat your dinner outside before the showers get here for later tonight. 50 degrees in Cannon Beach, low 60s for Madras. Now, overnight tonight, things are going to change again. Showers continue. Mild temperatures, though, overnight low in the low 50s, maybe mid 40s for some spots in the cooler areas. Tomorrow, Tomorrow, some scattered showers, but we'll see partly sunny skies by the afternoon time. Pretty light winds. Now, your forecast around the rest of the state again. A few scattered showers here and there. It's not going to be a washout. The next few rainstorms are going to be very light in nature, so it's not going to be, again, any major washout. But look at this, guys. I've been so excited to show you this. <laughs> look, so Monday and Tuesday, okay, a little bit cooler. 78 degrees the high for Wednesday. No. Upper 70s. April Fools, no? No, no, not no April, Fools. April Fools there. And uh, partly sunny skies for Thursday. So we could actually see some nice warm conditions. I think it's about time. We're not going to know what wear? to do with that. Exactly. I don't, I don't know. know. Especially reporting. Like, what do you wear? I don't, sunglasses. Sunglasses. Yeah, that's what and I'm sunscreen. And sunscreen. Yes. Sunscreen, yes. Claire, thank you. Good stuff. All right.